Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie. <laughs> really? It's like, it's like perfect timing. Okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney Dining Review. Tonight, I am so excited. <laughs> we are actually headed to Beer Garden in Epcot in the but Germany. But that's not why she's excited. <laughs> that's not why I'm excited. I'm excited because we got the Candlelight Processional Dining Package for Neil Patrick Harris for tonight. It's like a childhood dream is coming true right now. I might cry. I'm so excited. It is Super ironic because I had actually been looking for a beer garden reservation and you happen to be able to get the candlelight processional dining package for Neil Patrick Harris. Like that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we haven't eaten here since pre-COVID. Um, the honestly, from what I remember, the ambiance and theming were the best thing about this place. It mm -hmm. was phenomenal because it was like this outdoor market festival yeah. beer garden thing with a live band and uh, guests would get up and dance. And I'm not sure how much they still do that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, but I do know that um, I'm excited. They, they don't have a ton of specialty like cocktails. What they do have is beer. Beer. And they've got big old liter things of beer. Beer stein, <laughs> these glass beer steins yeah. that hopefully they still have those. They do. That's, the, oh. men, the menu said you could get half liters or liters. So. Liter, please. <laughs> and then um, there's like, of course, all of the um, German, like Bavarian offerings. And so you've got like schnitzel and uh, the noodle gratin, which is oh, like one mm. of my favorite things in the world. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. I'm excited. It will be very interesting to hear the boys' perspective because we haven't been here since they were very small. I'm pretty sure Jennings like probably had a kid's meal, so it'll be interesting. We also haven't been to the Candlelight Processional since they were very know, small either, so this will be a very, very fun evening. Um, we and we get to do DuckTales. We get to do DuckTales, <laughs> yes. We are recently recovering from some colds, so um, I think, I mean, we feel good, uh, but it is supposed to be cold tonight, like for the first time, mm. so we're gonna bring our coats and... All right, so price tonight, we are paying $65 per adult and $37 per child, but somehow in Disney's eyes, 10 years old equates to an adult, so we're paying $65 for all four of us, which Selfie. is a, a bit steep, but we get to see Neil Patrick Harris. So, uh, normally though, Normally it is $49 per adult and $27 per child, and that's plus tax and gratuity. So really it's not bad for a like all you care to enjoy type meal. Yeah, I, I'm very excited about this. And because it's not a character buffet, that brings those prices down a little bit. And $49 for an all you care to enjoy buffet at Disney World, that's, that's, that's I mean, I know it sounds, I, I hear it. It sounds steep, but <laughs> you compare it to other things at Disney and it's Fair. it's really okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, as far as like comparison goes. So something happens at Disney and you pick up a pair of socks that are $20 and you're like, oh, that's not bad. It's like the airport. <laughs> Tuna sandwich, 20 bucks. What? So, okay. Are we ready? Let's do it. I'm so Let's excited. Go. sure how long until the music starts so we oh, may it's um like 5 15 i think i saw out there so it was at 4 05 it just happened oh okay and then so, so 5 15 minutes. is the next show that's nice i know yeah so um it's decorated with holiday in here which is just kind of lovely um we are up on there are like four decks like four levels and we are at the very very top level kind of all the way to the um, like right side of the stage or left if you're looking at it I suppose but um, anyway so it's it, I don't think that there's a bad spot in the entire place I will say there's a long line for the buffet up there there are two sides and <laughs> there's at least probably 
I don't know, 15 people on each side just waiting to get food. So this is definitely a different buffet. So we may go ahead and send the kids. So we're, we're waiting to order drinks here. So yeah. uh, get my liter of beer. <laughs> yes. So the beer has arrived. Cheers. Look at this. I mean, this is comical. Good? Oh, that's good. I don't even know where to begin. Like, this food is fantastic. For some reason, I remember not being super, super I pleased. Know, that's what I was gonna say. With the food the first time, but this food, everything I've tried has been great. Yeah. Even the salmon, which. Which, that's a hard thing to do on a buffet. Yeah. And it it's is super cooked good. spectacularly. Like, it's perfect. So, the cold stuff, the cucumber salad, the cold. Uh, potato salad and the mac and mac salad, macaroni salad, all were fantastic. There's a beer cheese soup up there that's really good, especially when you dip your pretzel roll in it. And then there's a ton of meat. I'm only halfway through the meat. I'm already getting full. And oh my gosh, that mac and cheese on the kids, uh, the kids little bar yeah. is unbelievable. And the desserts look amazing. The cold potato salad and the warm potato salad both are fantastic. The meatballs are just out of this world. Uh, the spatzel or whatever, spatzel, I don't know what this is, but that's good. Everything's good. I, I haven't been disappointed yet. I need more room. I need more room in my stomach. <laughs> There were a couple of desserts that were amazing. There were some of the standard, like normal, like the brownie. Yeah. Jennings loved it. It was just a normal brownie. I had uh, a bite the, and I was done. The apple streusel and the cheesecake were both fantastic. Oh my gosh, that cheesecake, I was like, take my plate away. It's so, <laughs> so good. I think since we started doing these dining reviews, this has been the one that has actually been better than we remember coming pre-COVID. Yeah. And that is kind of hard to do. Like that's, yeah. this is fantastic. Especially I, on a buffet. Yeah. So, all right, let's finish this up at home. Let's go watch right. Neil Patrick Harris in a little candlelight procession. All, what do you think? I am so <laughs> All right, we'll see you at home. It does not have anything to do with Beer Garden, but Neil Patrick Harris was awesome. Oh my goodness. He was fabulous. Childhood dream come true. Bucket list item, check. The dining package of Beer Garden was 100% worth it just for NPH alone. So there it is, five out of five, we're done. <laughs> Let's actually break down the restaurant. <clears throat> but first, if you would like help booking your next magical trip to Disney, Universal, all cruise lines, some all-inclusive resorts, we would absolutely love to help. Please reach out to fantasticalvacations.com. You can find 
all kinds of travel agents that specialize in those various vacations who would all be happy to help. Yes. Absolutely. So let's start with ambiance and theming. So this place is spectacular. I think we mentioned it before. And I, I just, I forgot even how great it was before we went in. I, everything about this restaurant is better now than it was pre-COVID. Really I don't is. know how that's possible, but it is. It's better than I remember it anyway. But yeah, inside the restaurant, it is themed to this German beer garden festival, like Market? celebration yeah. thing. I mean, you've got... Stadium seating. You got tables that have plenty of room. You've got, it feels like more picnic-y vibe. You've got all the German like banners and everything. And then it's decorated for Christmas. And oh. there's a live band that comes out and plays. They played the Alp horns, which are the just giant lawn horns. And there is a dance floor in front of them. They played bells. They played oh, a melody thingy xylophone. <laughs> I don't know. We're really good with the instruments. Five out of five. Five out of five service. We've said before, it's really hard whenever you're doing like a buffet type thing um, on rating servers, right? Because um, really, they they brought our drinks and they took away our plates. So, I mean, she was she was average. Okay. She was fine. I, I yeah, three, I had no complaints. Three out of three, straight up three. Yeah. She was average. Yeah. I mean, she wasn't bad, nope. but there's not just not a whole lot of room to shine. I don't know. Average. Yeah. Drinks? Okay. I mean, we don't typically rate restaurants on drinks. We usually just remove the category if, it, if they only have beer and wine. Do they have cocktails there? All no. I saw was beer and wine. There okay. was only beer and wine. There was a shot. There was a couple of shots. But they... So... I mean, they have... Leader. We both went. <laughs> <laughs> they have liter glass beer steins. Bigger than my head. Like, we had to throw this in here, right? I mean. Yeah. <sighs> and honestly, the kids, even though it was like just two sodas mixed together, it was Coke and Fanta. The little German Spetsy thing that the kids had, it they liked it. And the beer was actually pretty reasonably priced. That liter of beer was $17, $17. which is pretty good. A half liter was 11 <clears throat> I didn't finish mine, and she brought you a to-go cup, which you filled full and took it with you, and there was still, I think, a little bit left in your snot. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna say straight up average for just having the beer and wine, not good, not bad, but they do get a little bit of a bump for the liter of beer. Yeah, so three and a half. Food, this was <laughs> the surprise of the night. I was, what is she? What are you? She looks like she's gonna attack something. I was very, very, very surprised because I don't remember the food being nearly like yeah. memorable or this good. I, I remembered it being okay. Like I remembered enjoying it, but I remembered enjoying the ambiance more. But seriously, this is probably one of the better buffet options. I would say it's probably property. the best as far as food quality goes. Well, I mean, we haven't done Boma recently. Boma, yeah. That's a good point. Boma's always but a good But as far as like the character meals go, the food quality here was leaps and bounds better. Yeah. I mean, any buffet, especially in Disney World, that has salmon on the buffet and you get it and it is moist and yeah. flavorful, that is unheard of. Yeah. At Disney buffet, like if you, if there if there is even fish on it, it's going to be dry. Yeah, it wasn't. It was it was great. Everything I tasted, I mean, the sausage is not really my thing, but they were good. Yeah, like literally everything I tasted was very very. Good. Aiden said because I said, "Did you get the fish?" and he said, "No," because every time I get fish, like on the cruise ship or at a buffet or something like that, it's never good. So I just didn't get it. And so I was like, give me your fork. And I gave him a piece of mine and he was like, oh my gosh. Like <laughs> it was so good. I finished every lick of that fish. So we gave it a four and a half on food. Yeah. I mean, that's. The desserts. I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, there were there were well, several. That there was were, a couple. The cheesecake was super good. Yeah, and, and the apple, apple strudel that was really good. Yeah, there were several. Like they had a chocolate chip cookie and a brownie, like whatever. Those but were fine, yeah. but the two mm, were good. Were good. 
All right, so all that added up, we got a, a five, a four and a half, a three and a half, and a three. All that added up is 16 divided by four. Four out of five yeah. for a buffet on Disney property. That's a solid choice at Epcot. That's a solid choice. Like, especially in Epcot where there's a ton of different options. Like, beer garden is a solid option. This yeah. is a sleeper. It's a sleeper. Wow. You should go to Beer Garden. <laughs> you should. If you like German food at all, which is basically just a bunch of meat and some sides, like sauerkraut. Oh, and sauerkraut. all the two salads? kinds of sauerkraut. They had the purple sauerkraut. They did. So if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.